hello family members you're welcome back today on my channel i'm going to be discussing with you about a very important aspect that you must do or you must fulfill before you get your visa for any kind of study you're basically coming for or if you are even coming for a language course or you are coming for university education whether bachelor's or postgraduate whatever the case is you need to fulfill this process and the process is called authentication of documents so we're going to go straight into today's video in this video we're going to cover document that needs to be authenticated based on the requirements of the spanish embassy and how you can fulfill this at the comfort of your home if may be or if you want to do it by yourself you can also i'm going to tell you about everything you need to go through in order to get this process fulfilled step-by-step -step process basically of what this authentication is really all about you may want to know all right let's go straight into this yeah, of documents in nigeria like most procedure it involves the government institution and it can be stressful and confusing for people not familiar with the process depending on your specific process or procedure you may need to authenticate documents such as academic results so that means your degree certificate and your transcript of record your marriage certificate um, company incorporation csc document police character certificate another document you intend to use for your trip abroad the key steps to authenticate documents in nigeria the federal ministry of affairs may be summarized as follows number one take your document to the ministry of foreign affairs headquarters in abuja and fill the authenticated form at the legal service division lst for short you'll need to obtain applicable official documents authentication fees for the documents you wish to attest which is priced per page and then you head to any major commercial bank to make your remitter payment or you can actually do this online if that is what is your choice after you make payment you're going to return back to the ministry of foreign affairs with your teller or the receipts for payment and it will be acknowledged by the ministry you submit the documents for authentication at the appropriate desk of the LSD at the ministry, after which you'll be told when to check back for your documents. At this juncture, I'd like to state here that there is no guarantee that this document or authentication process will be completed at the recommended date. So you need to be patient and wait and possibly have to do repeat visits to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to ascertain the status of your authentication process. The time frame for authentication of documents in Nigeria may depend on the kind of document or certificate in question as different documents may require different follow-up action on the part of the ministry period to the final authentication. Accordingly, it is important to shed some more light on the requirements of the attestation of documents commonly handled by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Nigeria. The documents that needs to be authenticated at your home country number one is the authentication of your birth certificate or attestation of birth so basically if you're coming to spain to study you know that if you were born before 1992 you need to get mpc documents hmm? and in order to get this mpc document you will need to get an affidavit of age declaration this is what you will use to procure your MPC which is attestation of birth so these two documents will serve as your birth certificate so these documents two of them will be authenticated at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs if your birth certificate is issued outside of Nigeria for individuals who are born maybe in diaspora the Ministry of Foreign Affairs will not be able to authenticate these documents you will need to authenticate it from your birth country and continue your process of applying for study visa all right we go on to the next one which is authentication of marriage certificate divorce certificate singlehood status affidavit all these documents will need to go through authentication as well at the ministry of foreign affairs authentication of marriage certificate 
it's only done after the marriage certificate has been duly contracted and that the certificate is authentic and it was issued by a competent registry or court. In a case of divorce, the ministry would need to confirm that the divorce certificate is authentic and that it was duly issued by a court to dissolve a lawfully contracted marriage. Single status of David is also authenticated by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs after determining that you that you disposed a legal um, affidavit affirming that you are indeed single and not currently in any marriage or contracted under customary or statutory law. Now we are moving on to police character certificate. So police character certificate is the equivalent of what is known as a certificate of good standing in many countries abroad. It's essentially to satisfy that you do not have any criminal record and that you are not facing any criminal record or investigation in Nigeria. From this period, you are trying to authenticate to five years before now. So for five years, period to the time of authentication, there is no criminal record. If you've had any criminal record, it has to be, it has to be maybe 10 years ago or six years ago. So once it's five years, you will not be able to even come into any country because nobody wants somebody who is indicted in any way, shape or form. Now we are moving on to authentication of results, academic certificate, that's degree certificate, transcript, YF, NECO, maybe HND, OND, these are part of certificates, right? All right. So to authenticate your academic result or other academic documents at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, you must first certify your documents at the Ministry of Education. 2023, it was a very straightforward process, but since January 2024, the process has actually taken a new shape because right now, the Ministry of Education now requires that before presenting your degree or similar higher institution certificates for authentication, you must first get your school to verify the degree certificate. Your school would address the verification letter to the Ministry of Education and effectively confirm that you are a graduate from the school and you know with the dates and the grades indicated on your certificate. A couple of this verification letter will be provided on the screen for guidance purposes. In order to obtain the verification letter, you need to first make a remitter payment to your higher institution tagged payment for attestation or verification. When your higher institution eventually issues the verification letter, you will need to attach both the letter and the remitter payment receipt to the degree certificates you want to authenticate and the Ministry of Education. Also note that you may need to request your school to email a copy of letter via their official address to the designated certificate evaluation and verification related email address at the Ministry of Education and I believe in the email that you need to send this verification to period to commencing the authentication process at the Ministry. It says the purpose of attestation or authentication is to certify that the document is authentic and duly issued by the appropriate authorities. The Ministry of Education has the responsibility to determine the authenticity of your documents and you can take it to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for authentication. Bear in mind that these academic documents will be authenticated on page by page basis. For example, if you want to attest your university transcript, each page of transcripts may be authenticated separately and cost accordingly. If you need to authenticate in Nigeria, it's advisable to make thorough inquiries from the embassy of your destination country or foreign authorities that you will present the documents to. Whether any additional documents ought to be fulfilled as part of legalization requirements. For example, Italian Embassy in Nigeria typically requires the authentication receipt issued by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for legalization of Italy bound documents. In essence, when you are presenting your uh, document that has been authenticated, you will need to present your receipts. And some other countries in Europe also would request that you have eligibility form authenticated also at your home country. But for Spain, this is not the case, so it's good that you clarify this when you period to the time of doing your authentication. You may ask, why did I tend this video, authentication your documents at the comfort of your home? 
I did so because I actually provide services for people who need to authenticate their documents in Nigeria. No matter the documents or certificates you need to authenticate, you can get it done faster and more conveniently by engaging my service to handle the process on your behalf. Exceptions may apply as well. This service is especially useful for those people who are so busy working and they are not able to disengage or take a trip to Abuja and spend days. The thing is that you are not even certain of the time that you need for this process because going there sometimes can take it can take a long time. So this service is especially useful to those who are busy, those who do not want to take this trip for convenience purposes, though I rather use the help of my service. Um, you can consult me for this purpose using my details up on this video and let's get talking, let's see how we can help you. But I have actually done this service for several people who requested um, for it and there has been no problems whatsoever. I could, you could read original documents to my contact person in Abuja and after documentation, authentication and all the whole process, we are going to send it back directly to where whatever address you provide to us. So that is what this video is all about. I hope that I've been able to educate one or two persons on the whole process of how authentication is done in Nigeria. And um, if for any reason you have any questions concerning this process, please do well to leave your leave your comments down in the comment section. Remember, I work with authorized Spanish translators. In order for you to get your study visa, you will need to have your documents translated from English to Spanish. And you should reach out to me so that I give you this service in 24 hours. If you're coming across my channel for the very first time, please, if this video has, you know, educated you or informed you in any way, shape or form, do well to subscribe to my channel by pressing the red subscribe button down below. Turn on your bell notification so whenever I post, you'll be the first to get notified. Like this video if you like my kind of content. Share this content to other people who you think may need informative videos just like this ones. And binge on all of my contents because you need to they would give you better insights on everything concerning spain and schengen all right i'll be stopping here for now see you on my next video till then hasta luego